Okay, coach. So uh, just first of all, what do you think went wrong there you know, when the Mavs were able to go on a few runs? And what did you like about the team's kind of ability to stay in it? Uh, I thought the process of our competition was pretty pretty good. Uh, we were doing a good job of you know, guarding initial actions. And then they hit a couple tough ones. We fouled a uh, jump shooter maybe three or four times. And, uh, and then we jumped at shot fakes late in the shot clock. And they hit late shot, late clock shots. So it's... Uh, combination of those things uh, defensively I thought and then there were times where I felt like our offense let our defense down where we were either turning it over or uh, you know just not having sharp enough process on that end that led to bad you know, transition defense or, or uh, easy baskets for them yeah and what do you what do you like out of what you're seeing out of Jalen House right now just as, as far as his ability to be aggressive and everything like that um I mean, his energy is great he's, he's awesome to have around uh, I think just in general, he's really, really taken on a, you know, a role of trying to pressure the ball. And then uh, I thought he did a good job of handling a massive load offensively today. Just like, uh, obviously, we're down a couple guards, so he was along with the ball in his hands a lot and getting us into stuff and, and organizing that well. So it's, I thought he did a pretty good job of that, considering he had to do all of that. So. And how hard is it from a coaching standpoint to have like one team to start and then you're kind of slowly losing guys and going deeper? Is it a challenge for you or do you feel like it's almost a fun thing to be able to kind of give different people opportunities? No, I think in, internally we always talk about having a Roger that mindset. You know, you just take what's in front of you and you do the best you can and try to help them as, as much as you can and, and uh, you know, control what you can. And I think that that's what we tried to do today. Uh, obviously, we go our way, but I thought we you know, had enough and we just didn't. And I asked you about Jordan last game. Obviously, his shot's still struggling. Did you like more what you were seeing out of him from a competitiveness standpoint, or kind of how do you evaluate the way he looked today? Yeah, I mean, when I think back on the game, one possession really sticks out. Uh, he made a you know, really, really concerted effort to crash the offensive glass, got an offensive rebound, and I think someone else got a three. And so, um, you know, I think when that comes to mind, like, he played really, really hard today, and, and I think he's doing the best he can. Uh, defensively, and, and I think that uh, he had a good, good game on that end. Um, shots come and go. It's a small sample. You just got to stay with the process and keep uh, keep shooting, keep shooting the right ones, and go from there. And obviously, you were with the team during the playoff run. How how much are you bringing up things from the year and from the Celtics parent organization to this process? Are you bringing it up to the guys on the summer league team, or do you kind of keep those experiences pretty separate right now? Oh, as much as we can, trying to keep that separate. I think it's different. Um, just. And I've talked about it a lot, trying to maintain a process of improving towards you know, the next run. And, uh, and, and that's what we try to do each day. And then I think in general, uh, really, really try to make a concerted effort you know, to learn from things situationally that we've done throughout the season and talked about different situational basketball that these guys are going to be you know, uh, given the opportunity to do during you know, when they do play with the big team. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks.